Yo 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 Hello 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 Hola 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 Kanichua 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 Bonjour 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 Je m'appelle SLC This video is how to go from rags to riches in terms of building wealth building massive, massive amounts of wealth, escape velocity, 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 escape velocity. It is to learn how to do one thing extremely fast and boom, get out and out of the rat race, right? So, hello everyone, my name is SLC. This is the, a video tutorial about how to get rich. And it's not in the sense of, oh, I have a million dollars, I have a billion dollars, I have a trillion dollars in my wallet, in my bank account. No, 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 no. It is having assets that generate trillions of dollars, right? So this is why Tesla, Elon Musk, right? Um, Jeff Bezos, uh, whoever else um, are at, at, at the highest, highest level it's not in the sense that, oh, they have a certain amount of money in their wallet. Well, obviously they do because that's where they are. However, those companies that they own generate their own assets that generate trillions of dollars, right? So in terms of the company and the asset and the thing that I'm creating and the business that I'm creating, it is automation, 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 right? And in terms of how to scale and how to boom, go cycle mode with getting all kinds of profit margins, all kinds of massive leverage is just like this. I have four different recordings. I have four different devices all recording right now. And I'm gonna post all of these videos, repost, reformat to get the knowledge out to people to understand, hey, how do I get rich? Just like this. You all have phones, everyone has a phone. Post hella content, so much content about how to get rich because it compounds. You see what I'm saying? The best way to get rich is to make content about how to get rich. Or, and, right, I'll say and, right, we'll remove that O-R-E, right, iron or, okay. I'll say and because we're in the business of plus. Always positive, always positive, always plus, 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 and owning an asset. So the asset that I own is my business doing automation. And why it's so powerful is I don't have to do anything because it's literally automation. The AI is doing the work for me, right? So in terms of, you know, asset and, and, and just the, the small little levers that we pull here and there, what I would say and my advice for everyone is find a vehicle that is fun, but also has a high yield. Crypto, NFT, so crypto mining, NFT mining, What's crazy about how fast the NFT and crypto space has developed, right? Airbnbs, DeFi, automation. Uh, yeah, Airbnbs, DeFi, automation, crypto, NFTs, decentralized finance, right? So that, that's DeFi. The reason why these are really fun, these have high yields, is because it has changed in the next hour, it can change in the next minute, it can change in the next second if we move the levers in the right situation to help us get more profitable, right? So why these things compound is because not only are skills compounding, so right now my skill of content creation, right? I have four different devices. Also my skills of editing, I'm learning how to edit videos. Also my skill of selling, I know how to sell now. I say, hey, if you give me you know, 10K, if you give me 100K, if you give me two mil, I'll build automation for your specific business to help you scale from 400 mil to 400 billion or from 400 billion to 400 trillion, you know, things like that. In the sense that why I say, you know, in the sense that of scaling and scaling and scaling and scaling and scaling business to get higher and higher and higher and higher and faster and faster, faster, higher and higher, higher is automation, is owning assets, right? But why I say get into a vehicle that not only has a high yield, but also um, you're having fun with is NFTs, right? And so, hello everyone, welcome to SLC NFTs, right? Unofficially or officially and officially, right? O-R-E, iron or, and, because we're in the business of plus, 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 right? Shout out to we're in the business of plus, plus, plus. 
This is literally Shadow Clone Jutsu. I have four different devices recording me, okay? And why and the NFT space is so powerful is in the beginning when Satoshi um, Satoshi first discovered Bitcoin, when he first made Bitcoin, that was when the crypto mining revolution began. So people began crypto mining, there was Bitcoin mining, Solana mining, Ethereum mining. Now there's a lot of new cryptos that are arising, right? Unicron, um, is, is it Unicron, the place where Optimus Prime came from? Unicorn, um, uh, like, what is it called? Uh, unicorn Swap. And the, the coin that I want to create, you know, as I scale as an entrepreneur, as I scale as a crypto NFT space kind of person, is in the sense that, okay, my coin that I want to create is Dino Coin. And what's going to be interesting about Dino Coin is the staking and yield farming. That's going to be very liquid in the sense that if you understand how to code, you're going to be able to code on the program only if you do it in an ethical way because that's the, those firewalls are going to be put into place, right? So as I get better as a programmer, as I get better as a coder, those firewalls that we put into place in terms of allowing ethical changing of the actual code, of the actual crypto, of the actual currency, right? So cryptocurrency, now it's leveling up even more. And why I said it changes every minute, every second, every hour, every da -da -da, every day, it changes consistently every second, every millisecond even, is how fast AI is creating itself is that now instead of, okay, here's crypto mining, like Bitcoin mining, Solana mining, Ethereum mining, unicorn swap mining, right? And down the line, I want to create, like I said, owning assets, a trillion dollar skyscraper building, a trillion dollar cruise ship, a trillion dollar you know, neighborhood, a trillion dollar amusement park, right? I want to own amusement parks. And the reason for those things is just to crypto mine. Right, I would create all of these, you know, um, buildings and all the other stuff just so they can crypto mine. Y'all see what I'm saying? And now I continue to say it, it keeps leveling up because in the NFT space, each NFT is a memorabilia of rare, rare memorabilia. And now because of AI, instead of crypto mining, and that crypto is still fungible. Crypto is not an NFT. Crypto is still fungible because we're able to mine more crypto. However, the way that AI is revolutionizing the NFT space is each NFT is a currency now. Y'all see what I'm saying? So in the same sense that if you were to crypto mine 1,000 coins, now it's different because the AI are able to create 1,000 NFTs. And then each NFT has its own distinct memorabilia value. Each NFT, millions, billions, trillions, gazillions, centillions, Googleplex power to the Googleplex power NFTs, right? And continuing on, owning skyscrapers. And the only reason for the skyscraper is that it's just a big crypto miner. Owning cruise ships. The only reason why to have a cruise ship is just a big crypto miner. Owning a whole neighborhood, the neighborhood is just a big crypto miner. Owning a whole island, the island is just a big crypto miner. Owning amusement parks. The reason why I want to own amusement parks, right? Shout out Elon Musk, is the fact that the amusement park that I want to create is going to have fun rides. You know, we're going to get wrist straps that can track our heartbeat, wrist straps that can track our oxygen levels, and things like that. In the sense that if we really want to go from Earth to Mars easily, or Earth to other planets, you know, like Saturn, easily, is we need to practice at scale how the human body is affected by different air pressures, how the human body is affected by moving at different velocities. And so, creating an amusement park where the different rides, right, are simulations of the rocket ship. If there are different planes where like, you know, small kids can go and play with the little keyboards or the little, um, like if you go to a museum, there's all these interactive devices that those interactive devices are games with like rocket fuel, you know, games with, um, yeah, rocket fuel, games that, you know, you can move the, 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 the O2 levels, right? Games where you can dress up as astronauts, things like that in the sense that, hey, you know, if there was a customizable game 
where you could try over and over and over and over again to be an astronaut, like a Martian, right? Y'all seen the Martian movie with um, the one actor. Um, so in, in Martian, right? But it's to have that scenario. So instead of having to actually send people to Mars, it's to create simulations and then an amusement park and it's fun, right? Because everyone's on the fun ride, you know, everyone's in, you know, playing with the devices, but they're all just, it's just data. It's all just data. And, and on top of that, now that we're getting into the, oh, I'm going to say it, oh, into the metaverse space, my amusement park, right? There's going to be different, uh, when you walk into the amusement park, it's gonna be an immersive experience, right? So if you get on a roller coaster or if you walk in, there's gonna be different sections of the amusement park where you can actually put on the VR, you know, put on, um, like let's say it was a bike ride, right? So you would get on the bike and then as you're biking, you would be immersed into the VR space, right? Because you have the, um, like you would put it on and then the actual like area, it, it would um, be immersed as you put on the, the, the VR experience. Then on the roller coasters, uh, on the rides, whatever, VR experience while on the roller coaster, right? So it gets even more in depth because we can be, you know, swooping around with Superman as a cyborg. We can be swooping around as a cyborg gargoyle, the ninja Sith X cybernetic mutation, right? We can be on a roller coaster and we're jumping from building to building as a ninja. We can be uh, on a roller coaster and we're in space, you know, fighting Star Wars, f uh, fighting Sith, fighting Jedi's, you know, um, ex cybernetic mutation, right? We can be on a roller coaster and uh, we can have the wrist strap on. There's different rides, different shows, different movies, different games. It's an amusement park for data. That cybernetic, right? You. you like I said, the wrist strap and, and the VR, it's all cybernetics because we're in tune with the automation, in tune with the AI. We're embracing the AI to make us better. And then on top of that, mutation, right? Everyone is mutating now. Every human is changing every single day, ever evolving metamorphosis, right? So SLC, metamorphosis, how to rapidly speed up quicker, faster automation, cyborg, gargoyle, the ninja Sith, X cybernetic mutation hashtag everyone my name is SLC and this video definitely helps